All right, we just uh, finished exporting our movie into into our desktop, and here's my movie. And if I uh, click Control, Control click. Oops, I'm doing too many clicks. Here you can get info. Um, and I want to change this. Sometimes all these little triangles here are closed, so you want to find one that says Open with. And you want to choose QuickTime, QuickTime Player app. Um, now, if I double click on it, it should come up as QuickTime. But if it goes into iTunes, um, then we will go do the same way. We hold our control key down and click. And instead of go to info, we go open with and we choose QuickTime Player. Now, there we have the QuickTime Player. And if you go to view on the bottom, you can se select loop. And if you click back here, you see there's a check mark there. That means it's going to loop the loop the video. If I try it out, starts over again. Perfect. And you know, there's my little my son that you heard in the phone earlier. Anyway, um, so now we have our movie done. No. let's uh, go over how we are gonna move it over to your husband's computer we'll click on the finder anywhere on the on the desktop and we get the finder up here in the corner and we go to go airdrop okay be sure that it's for everyone here in the in that little low a little pop-up menu down here on the bottom and you should see your husband's computer pop up here and this is my laptop and then you drag your movie, hold it on, and when you get that square that pops up, then you let it go. And now it's copying over to the other computer. Now, um, just because it's taking a little too long, um, I'm going to do it from my center photo from my other computer. Okay. Onto this one. You see that's already done, so that means... It's finishing copying, go to download, and here it is. That's my grandfather right there. Um, okay, so that's how you do that, and you should be ready to go.